Sri Lanka is set to face a crucial vote on a resolution at the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva today. The vote on the resolution is being seen as an acid test for President Gotbaya Rajapaksa. The move comes amid allegations that Rajapaksa's government has failed to ensure justice for the victims after the end of the civil war in 2009. Sri Lanka was defeated at three previous resolutions at the UN Human Rights Council. When Gotbaya's brother and incumbent Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksa was the country's president. The vote was initially planned for Monday but was postponed after some scheduling issues. The draft resolution calls upon the Sri Lankan government to ensure thorough and impartial investigation of all alleged crimes relating to human rights violations. The resolution requests the office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights to enhance its monitoring and reporting on the situation of human rights in Sri Lanka and to present an update to the Human Rights Council at its 48th session. The resolution also encourages the office of the High Commissioner to provide advice and technical assistance on implementing the steps. Sri Lanka has been lobbying for support against the resolution with China, Russia and Pakistan. However, the resolution is expected to be passed as the core group on Sri Lanka, which includes the United Kingdom, Canada and Germany, have enough support for the resolution to pass. In the past, the Sri Lankan government had expressed confidence that its powerful neighbour India would support Sri Lanka for the sake of regional solidarity. Now, India's stand during the vote will be key. However, sources have suggested that India may just abstain from voting. Sri Lanka's civil war ended in 2009 after almost three decades of violence. The government defeated the LTTE in a final offensive that resulted in tens of thousands of civilian casualties and the execution of scores of captured LTTE combatants. The previous Sri Lankan government had co-sponsored the resolution in 2013 calling for accountability in alleged war crimes committed by the government forces and the terror group LTTE. The current Sri Lankan government has officially withdrawn from the resolution. A recent UN report warned that the failure of Sri Lanka to address past violations has significantly heightened the risk of human rights violations being repeated. It claims that there are worrying trends over the past year, such as deepening impunity, increasing militarization of governmental functions, ethno-nationalistic rhetoric, and intimidation of civil society.